Hey guys, how are you? I know it's been a while and um, as you guys know already that have been with me, thank you so much for quite a while. You know I always take my breaks and I always take a break now and then when things just get to be too much, when there's just too much energy flowing, too much transformation happening within me or, you know, you just need your break sometimes and especially on social media. And there are a number of readers on YouTube as well that have also been saying that they've had to be taking breaks now and had to be um, doing things uh, off of YouTube as the energies on YouTube have shifted a little bit. So I'll be back <laughs> and I'm planning now, um, coming back now, I'm just working on a new series that I'll be doing. And, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit instead of pulling cards, just give you a little bit of the information that I've been downloading and I've been getting from my guides, which have revealed themselves even more, um, now for these times. So first off, um, I burnt my face. I actually literally got a sunburn because they, they opened up the beaches here again. For those of you that don't know, I live in Mexico right now and they opened up the beaches again. They were closed and I was out and I was visiting a friend and in that swimming pool and I managed to <laughs> burn my face. The, the sun here is really hot. So I took a break as well for that because I had to cover, slather it in aloe vera and the skin here is still really really rough and um, dry and I really want to avoid getting those you know that tanned leather skin that people get when they're too long too much in the sun so even for um, us melanated yeah um, we still have to take care of our skin as well right so yeah anyways so um, back to my guides they've they've really been um, revealing themselves more than they have previously and again I'm careful saying the word my guides let's call them higher aspects of myself which are unintegrated into my current consciousness um, they may be future aspects of myself future developed aspects of myself along different timelines of development which um, reveal themselves to guide and to teach so that it doesn't come to that it's like they're the um, those aspects which show up for people, um, some people call them greys, right? So there are various extraterrestrial entities, um, various forms and our subconscious gives them clothing, but sometimes they reveal themselves and sometimes they look very similar, but they're coming from very different places. So it's really important when we're dealing with these beings that we open up our heart space contra to what we're feeling in that moment when we're trapped in fear um, we open up that heart space and we open up our solar plexus and we open it all up and we trust and we feel right and when we send them love and we send them all that energy of positivity they usually disappear because the negative ones cannot handle it they can't take it they don't like it and um, the positive ones will will retreat because they know that you're afraid so they just withdraw for a bit and let you calm down so I was in meditation I was a deep in meditation I was um, not really focusing on anything I was focusing on just feeling just being in the moment just not thinking and just being pure presence and I was focusing on that and all of a sudden I could see this face looking at me and it was this beautiful luminescent whitish with kind of like a bluish light purplish tone but it was absolutely beautiful and the eyes were huge and I don't know if it was reflecting my energy because I've been working a lot with purples and pinks lately and um, really these rich tones of, of that spectrum and I don't know if that was what was reflecting in the eye this you know the gray eye but the eye seemed to be purple with um, galaxies and stars that just were spinning within it and I was just so entranced and all of a sudden this feeling of absolute peace just came over me just pure peace and this this 
all these realizations and these downloads and I could see the other negative entities as well I felt them right so again unintegrated aspects of myself possibly or other negative um, beings that were playing a role but they became so minuscule and so unimportant so irrelevant and um it was just, it was, it was, it was super, oh, I can't even, I can't find the words for it, but it was very profound for me. And I'll just give you a little bit of what came through. So yes, this time is a time of great transformation. This is not a joke. We're not just talking about it. We're not just, you know, it's not just blah, blah. It is happening. It is real. This is a time of great transformation for us, for humanity. And it's an opportunity for each one of us to step into our actual beingness, to step into actually who we truly are. For example, me, I should be writing and I'm not writing. I'm not writing enough. And they keep saying like, we keep telling you to write, write, write. Why aren't you writing? So I'm going to pick up my writing again. I'm going to start writing again and putting it more out there and um, seeing what comes together. Um, but for each one of you watching this video as well, it is take this as your cue. This is your time to step into your own. It's imperative that you do because when you do, you release energies, you release the, you up the energy of humanity, the collective energy of humanity. And, um, you, you propel us forward, right? Because this is not just about the individual development, which it is about and which is really important, um, because that contributes to the collective development, which is what this time that we're going through is really about. It's our collective moving forward, but the collective is comprised of individuals. So it's really important that you finally step into your own, not wait for another day, not wait until tomorrow, not wait until the signs are there. This is your sign. <laughs> <laughs> not wait anymore thinking, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You do, but you just judge yourself and you judge it and you're still judging based on an old paradigm, right? So it's, it's time to let all of that go. It's time to finally let it go and step into your own. Wow, this dog. <laughs> Let's just send this dog some healing and some love because it seems to need it. So, um, it's time for you to step into to your own. And we've been saying that for years, you know, and it was preparatory, but now it is really time. That's another reason I kind of stayed away from YouTube and all of that, because I was kind of disappointed. I was disappointed in people, um, content to be being observers, content to being just watching from the sidelines, content to not doing anything really to change their state of being or life or contribute to collective change. Just, you know, watching this all as if they're watching a program on TV. Sorry. So, oh, <laughs> see, there's a veterinarian next door to me. That's another reason I've been slow on the videos because it's the dogs are annoying. They are annoying. I'm currently in the process of looking for a new place because I can't like sleep, work, nothing here. And it's, it's, it's gotten really annoying. So, um, anyhow, um, it is your time. It is time for you to step up right to step up and not do business as usual not do your relationships as usual not do your usual work even like really step up and to start trusting the information that's coming from within you to start connecting within you and to stop wanting to feed the machine to stop wanting to um, be happy according to guidelines that were given to you by others. Be happy according to guidelines that were given to you by um, society or by advertising or you name it. To stop all of that. Just stop the madness. You know, like they could stop the earth turning for a fake virus. <laughs> and um, we need to stop our lives and um, stop the way we've been living for the truth right? We need to stop for the truth. And it, it's time for you to um, start 
becoming that channel for your highest self, becoming that expression of your highest self that you were intended to be. And that's not something that's decided upon in your mind, right? How that's going to look or who you're going to, you know, it's just you doing the best you can with what you have in the moment every time, like trying hard every time, never giving up and uh, making the effort through meditation, for example, to connect to your higher self, uh, making the effort through doing yoga or, or Tai Chi or you name it to get into that energy flow, to allow to support your body in releasing energy, releasing trapped energy that keeps you looped in patterns, allowing your body to shift through it, right? So it's, it's, it's super um, important that you take the time now and understand that this is real this is this is what we came here to do this is it wake up sleeper cell <laughs> this is what we came here to do and it's time for you to work in your communities to shine in your communities to shine in your families to articulate and not hide behind a tree and not hide behind saying oh well that's their life path and it's not mine because that's a further divisiveness further separation further going into that mindset and being cowardly right so it's time to you to find that leo courage that lion courage to find that which you gain through faith and belief right which you gain through experience which you gain through actually doing something and um step into your role step into what you came here to do whatever that may be right so that's um basically the message that i got and that nothing is written in stone they keep saying that timelines are malleable they're flexible they're this is this is the world of spirit you know like things can change at the drop of a dime the drop of a pen the drop of a decision and it's time for us to make that choice what kind of a future that we're creating that we're participating in creating um that we're supporting in the creation of we're not helpless not individuals individu individually but also not on a collective level and we are quite capable of making wise choices and wise decisions and moving into the right direction right we are quite capable of doing that but we have to give up this this preformed notion that we have that we know what good looks like right and there is only one good and that's god and that good flows through us and expresses itself through us but we have to allow that expression you can't be limiting it and judging it all the freaking time right so it's time to dive into those aspects of yourself that still believe that you're not enough that still believe that i am not enough that i um i am unworthy or i am unlovable or i'm not a part of the lovable universe you know like i do believe in a loving universe but I, somehow i'm not a part of it like you need to get into those spaces and really start to heal that you really start to like have to um go in there and you don't heal it by looking at it and intellectualizing it you go heal it by experiencing it feeling it allowing yourself to feel that and then allowing yourself to feel something else so it's it's um i'll be doing another workshop on self-love which is the basis for everything and the absolute um the most important most important lesson you can learn which is like the first domino that knocks over all the other ones and um self-love is is probably what's lacking the most in our current situation worldwide and it's something that is one of also the biggest taboos right because um to authentically speak about self-love and the lack of self-love it, it it takes a bit right and it, to acknowledge that within yourself if we do everything we can just like Carl Jung said to avoid our own shadows to avoid the truth of our soul and um, we'll even create imaginary figures of light right so it's time now to to um, stop the nonsense right stop the madness stop the infantility stop the childish games and grow up right wake up and grow up and um step up to the plate and do what we came here for because we are the ones that came to save right we are the saviors <laughs> we're looking for a savior you know like somebody come save me 
But we're the ones, we're the ones that were sent in to save life here on earth. So, you know, it, it's time for you to step into that role. Okay. As to the predictions, um, again, they, they, the information that they gave me was that anything can go any way. But the way things are going right now, it's actually not that bad. People are waking up and, um, it is leading into, into a, different timeline like the timeline shifted again i'm pretty sure some of you that felt that felt that the timeline shifted again about around the lunar eclipse a little um and we're moving into a little bit of a better installation those of you that are here with me <laughs> we're moving into a little bit of a better uh future um but it's it's there's still a lot of work to be done. There's still a lot of work to be done and um, the future could be even brighter than what we're currently moving into now. So please hear this message. Please hear the tones that are flowing through this message also subliminally. And um, I'm excited to see what happens and to see what you do. Take care. Bye.